Hello everybody and welcome back to the show! So we're getting back into more Forza today, very clearly. We're gonna finish off that uh, Viper vs. Corvette race today. There it is. Uh, yes. <laughs> that screen always freaks me out. Every time I see that screen, I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> Are you deleting my profile? What? Alright, so we got Silverstone and Spaghetti Speedway. In the last video, remember, we did uh, Sunset Peninsula. I'm trying to remember what... Uh, what did I do in that race? There was something that I figured out or something. Oh yeah, if I was going real fast, instead of uh, using brakes and a downshift or, and stuff like that, I could literally just let off the gas and it uh, kind of drowns off a bit of speed. We'll see if we can use that on turn 8 here today on Silverstone. We'll see if we can use that aspect. Turn 8 is a nice long right hand rising and then dipping sweeper. So kind of an interesting turn for a, a high speed car to make. It looks like a normal everyday turn too as you're coming up to it. And then once you go halfway around it, you're like, oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Ooh. Whoopsie. Tiny, tiny little bit early on the throttle there. Ooh. Now that this car uh, has been driven a little bit as well, cars actually do get worked in in this game, just like they do in Gran Turismo. Uh, the more you drive a car, the more balanced it feels. Just like in real life, when you first buy a new vehicle, it feels all strange and the handling feels all wonky and stuff. But after you've been driving it for a month, like, the car kind of starts to feel a little bit smoother. Yeah, that's where the phrase, working it in, comes into play, which is actually true. You drive a car for a little bit and it works in, whoa, kind of settles the car into its uh, position or whatever you want to call it. Whoa! I was turning hard to the right there to get off that. There are two by two behind me. I just wanted to move out of the way because they were two by two. Whoa! kind of likes long turns like that. You just sort of drift around them. Easy. Whoa! Holy mackerel! <laughs> Stop it! Ah! or something like that, the group is really split up. And it's split up into, whoa, split up into three parts. Will you stop it? Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me, dude. It does not like the end of that turn. I'll have to remember that when we come around for lap three and four. It's very difficult to get it to make a couple turns one after the other, I find. Changing directions in this car. <laughs> it does not like it too much. Holy frame rate. Disgusting. Oh. 
shift down into third there, but whatever, we'll keep it. I just sort of downshifted subconsciously there, if anybody's wondering, I just hit the button, and there's a very loud buzzing noise. Awesome noise. I want my car to make that noise. <laughs> Whoa. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh. If we had ASM on there, we would have just crashed. Or if it was an automatic, we also would have just crashed. I think I mentioned it a couple of videos back where I was like, if anybody's ever having trouble playing Forza and like, even on, especially online actually, against your friends and stuff like that, just try turning off a few things. Turn off uh, stability control and then put it in manual. Learn how to drive in manual and suddenly you'll be right up there with your friends or maybe even smoking your friends, man. Manual and automatic in Forza is a massive difference. Wow, listen to that noise. Listen to that humming noise, I guess. That's glorious. Listen to that. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Yo, sound department. Microsoft sound department. Where the hell are you guys at? Given, you know, this game was basically supposed to be released with the system itself, you know what I mean? Like, at the same time. This was like the first game that you could buy. Yeah. Just like Sony PlayStation, the first PlayStation, like, the pretty much one of the first games that you could buy was uh, Gran Turismo. <clears throat> so, Microsoft wanted to have their own kind of... Uh, version of Gran Turismo, so they made this for Xbox. So I guess I kind of rushed it a, just a little bit. It's an almost perfect game, to be honest. So far, I mean. And yeah, I, like, obviously I've played through this game before. I don't think I've ever beaten this game 100% before. Uh, so, that's interesting. I'll finally be able to Put this game to bed. That's one thing that I'm really enjoying about YouTube is that I'm able to put games to rest. I'm like, yeah, I have officially played that game, played it all the way, beat the last boss's ass into the ground. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whew. And my controllers still have not arrived, you guys. Isn't that a freaking travesty? That's like a travesty, a sham, and a mockery all in one, I tell you. It's a damn Trava sham mockery. Excuse me, sir, go! 
Don't tell me, oh my. Uh, he was right there. I can hear him. Ooh, this car does not like these slow ass turns. <laughs> this car is like, let me out. It's like being trapped in a cage. I'm in like a little hamster maze basically right now. Jesus. Come on. See that torque kick in there? That was so sick. This car is ridiculous. I want one. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. <laughs> let's get, uh, let's get 10, ah! let's get 10 million subscribers. Oh, so that I can get a whole bunch of sponsorships and buy a Viper. Not liking those turns at all. <laughs> this car is like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, it's not liking this track at all. It does a pretty good job in the 90s, so that's for sure. The the 90s chicanes, it ate those for dinner. This is the, like, the only place on the track to really let it loose, other than the main, uh, uh straightaway. Go, go, go! Rah! Yeah! <laughs> and that's it, right back down to, like, to the friggin', uh, hamster track. <laughs> this track would be a sick go-kart track. I'll stop it, stop it, stop it. Turn. Jesus. <laughs> yes, my love. We know it. Woo, you and me both, baby. What a dragon. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, the torque again. That's awesome. That, we're running it. I'm not trying to make that little tiny turn. I would have definitely messed up. I'm trying to make that turn. Yeah, it really doesn't like those slow turns, man. Holy. Eat 
break, save the day. There's a big ass humming noise, I'm getting rid of that crazy humming noise. Uh, second time we overextended that. Holy! Jesus Christ, man, this car is something else, you guys. Wow! <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, it really eats up those 90s, man. It doesn't like short, rounded turns, but it likes short, uh, sharp angle turns. Makes sense, given that this thing has, you know, almost a thousand horsepower, so... Uh, uh. The Lingenfelter is actually able to keep up to the other Venom on this track. Because there's nowhere for the, uh, oh, come on, there's really nowhere for the Venom to uh, unleash all of its fury. It gets thrown to the right a little bit when you shift gears. It seems to have a really hard time um, just navigating at like 50. You know, from like 40 to 50 miles an hour, it just does not like that, uh, that little area of speed, I guess you could say. <laughs> wow, holy torque. This car has so much torque. 
more friggin' torque than a damn Dodge Ram. <laughs> I bet you this thing could tow more than a friggin' Dodge Ram could. Like, if you weighted it down enough, if you put, like, a whole bunch of weights inside of it, I bet you this thing would be able to out-pull a truck. I mean, 960-some pounds of torque? Like, bro, that's, like, three times as much of a, as a Dodge Ram. It's just not four-wheel drive, so you would have to weight it down. thought that was a bit cheesy of Forza to, to do that. Like, put a barrier there, you dumbasses. Make it, make it a penalty. Yummy, yummy. Now do you guys see why I always make my Corvettes yellow with a black booty? There you go. Every racing Corvette is always friggin' yellow with that black beauty. Black beauty booty! I just love it. I like the look of it, you know? I know what homie was saying when he said black and yellow, black and yellow, you know what I mean? He was on to something there. Let me tell you. Alright, so we got uh, S Class is our next race. And what was our S Class car again? Was it the Mine? He had the Mine's Lancer. There she is. Little Miss Disguster herself. The S Class Destroyer. Well. Let's go ahead and jump into the CP9. Awesome. So, I want to thank you guys so much for coming out and watching this episode of Forza with me here today, man. Like always, uh, if you could do me a wicked awesome favor and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet, as I plan to play hundreds of different games in the future on my channel. I'm telling you guys, hundreds. I'll probably even play your favorite game one day, so please, subscribe. But uh, other than that, man, I, I truthfully hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>